What it is, guys, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you with another daily Parunga Dragon Ball. Now, today's is really, really simple, guys. This is one you probably should have gotten on your own, uh, and frankly, if you haven't, you've been you're messing up, guys. You should be running the Hidden Potential event every single day. Every single absolute day. Uh, it's, these orbs are so precious, guys. If you don't know anything about the Hidden Potential system, I actually have a video regarding it. I'll put it, it's a very, very old video, but I'll put it down in the description below. It was one of the early videos I did. Um, oof. Oof. I can't find the, the unit I want for my team. Uh, there, there he is. That'll work right there. So... Actually, I wouldn't even need him, honestly. A hidden potential system isn't that difficult. So, uh, basically, if you're not familiar with this, which, again, every video is someone's first video, um, these are orbs that you add into the hidden potential system to power up your units, give them more attack boosts, things like that, and special abilities eventually. So, like I said, these are really, really, really precious, and typically speaking, this is the only way you really are able to get them. So, pay attention and do this mess, because... If not, you're making a huge mistake. So, all we're going to do is we're going to run through this quickly, grab the orbs, exit. Upon exit, we should have our new Dragon Ball. Like I said, this is pretty straightforward. In fact, uh, my good friend Vegeta here may just finish this up real fast. Let's see. Boom. Ooh, I should have done those with Vegito. That's okay. That's okay. Vegeta will forgive us by... Getting his other super attack off instead of his 18 key. It's it's just a thing. Boom. Come on, buddy. Finish him off. There you go. 1.2 mil. Actually, that's really good. Jeez, I didn't know he hit that hard. Uh, in fact, I just put another dupe in him recently, and I haven't finished the orbs on him, so I'll have to go do that. Now, there we go. Got my potential orbs. Let's go ahead and finish collecting all these. Guys, you should be hitting every single one of these blocks that you can. Uh, once again, if you haven't, I don't know why you're doing this stage. <laughs> um, just pick the lowest number, hit the block, move on, at least strategize it in case you run into something like this where I know I'm not going to have that. Give me a one, baby. Give me a one. Oof. It's a thing. It's a thing. I didn't get as many orbs as I would have liked on that one. It was a bad run, but the RNG was not on my side. So, here we go, guys. Boom! There it is. Once that screen goes black, you know what's up. Five-star Purunga Dragon Ball. I realized the five-star art on my Dragon Ball was off. Oh, well. It's been that way for two weeks. It's going to be that way for the third week. So there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward stuff. Really, really easy stuff. Go get your Purunga Dragon Ball on Friday. We will get the final ball. We got tomorrow's Thursday. Then on Friday, we get the, the final Dragon Ball. We get the final uh, three wishes. And uh, it's all history after that, sadly, guys. But this is really amazing. I hope you've been taking advantage of this every single day because it is such a boost to the to your account. Uh, I've been doing the Elder Kai's and the Potential Orbs every single time. I would recommend those as my absolute number one. The third one, whatever you choose, is entirely up to you. Um, this time I might do Awakening Medals. I'm undecided yet, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, that is the video. Follow my Birdman, hit me up a booker, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you don't understand what any of those things are, check out the description down below. Uh, and other than that, I will lay your ass out with more crazy hype information and more fun live streams. Oh, Wednesday's live stream is really silly. Next time.